NFC tags, a cool way to trigger shortcuts and automations with your iPhone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a simple NFC automation that will open or close your garage with just one tap. This concept really applies to any of your HomeKit accessories or scenes that you wanna be able to toggle on or off with the tap of your phone. Let's go. Sponsored by Eve. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane if you're new here and this channel is all about helping you build an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit platform with new videos published every Sunday morning. So I've covered NFC tags a little bit in the past, but it's been quite a while. So I figured it would be a perfect time to revisit this and show you guys just how to set up a basic toggle using something like an NFC tag. Now, if you're not familiar with NFC tags, they're basically these little stickers that can trigger custom automations or shortcuts that run on your phone. NFC stands for near field communication, and it's the same technology used for things that you're probably already familiar with like Apple Pay. To clarify, these automations are being executed on your personal device, not on the NFC tag. The NFC tag simply triggers that shortcut or automation to run on your phone. So that means that the same NFC tag can do one thing on your phone and may be configured to do something entirely different on someone else's. That also means that if you want an NFC tag to open the garage door on your phone and also do the same thing on someone else's phone, like your spouse, you'll have to configure each of these separately. Don't worry, I'll show you the easiest way to do that. In fact, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's open up the Shortcuts app, and I have here, uh, I'm gonna use one of these. These are, these are really affordable and, and cheap on Amazon. And I'm gonna go ahead and just rip off one put those aside. So to set up an NFC automation, if you've never done this before, first you go to automation tab and then you tap on plus and create a personal automation. Again, this is a personal automation, so this is gonna run on your personal device, which is why you have to set it up separately for each user. And then you're gonna look for NFC and then you scan your NFC. But if you wanna configure this on multiple devices, I find it's best to first create the shortcut and then make your NFC tag just run that shortcut because you can share shortcuts easily. You can't really share automations like this. So let's go back and before we do any of that, we're just gonna create the shortcut first. So I'm just gonna go to my shortcuts here. We're gonna create a new one and let's add our action and we're gonna look for an if statement. What we're gonna do is basically say, if the garage is open, then close it. Otherwise, open it, right? Something like that. So. In our if statement, you can tap select a home accessory and I'm gonna look for my garage door. Again, you can do this with lights or whatever you really want, but we're gonna choose our garage door, tap next, and then you can see it shows some more information once we tap our device and garage door, current state, which is good, and I'm gonna tap is, now let's say closed. So let's say if it's closed, we want to open it. So we're gonna to need to select a home accessory, control Watley home, that's what you're looking for. We're gonna pull this under that if statement and we're gonna, again, look for our garage door and you want to open it. So we're gonna tap open. So currently this says, when we run this shortcut, it says if the garage door is closed, open it. So far so good, now we need to say otherwise, close it. Control Watley Home, we can, we can pull this under the otherwise, and again, look for that garage door, and close. Okay, so if the garage door's current state is closed, open, otherwise, close it. Okay, and that's really it for our shortcut, so we're gonna tap next, I'm gonna name this garage door. All right, all done. So we can go test this out if we want, but I'm just gonna move along and now we're gonna create that NFC. And again, the reason I did this is because if I were to do all those steps in the NFC automation, it's then harder to share to my wife or another phone that I wanna set up for the same NFC tag. Once I create a, a shortcut, I can easily just hold this down 
tap share, I can text it, I can airdrop it to somebody, so then they'll have this automation, and then all they have to do is configure the NFC tag, which is what we're gonna do right now. So we go into automation, tap personal automation, we're gonna look for NFC, when I tap NFC, we're gonna scan our NFC tag. I'm gonna name this garage door. This is my garage door NFC tag. Okay, next. And now you can do all the same things like we just did, except we've already done it. So I'm just gonna look for run shortcut, garage door. Tap next. When I scan this NFC tag, it's gonna run that shortcut. I'm gonna turn off ask before running because I don't need that. Don't worry about that. Another thing that I do actually wanna do, and I forgot to mention, I do this for any NFC tag that I set up. Um, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna add one more action to this. I find this really helpful because sometimes you're not really sure if you scanned it or if it you know, processed or if you hit the tag right. So we're gonna look for a vibrate. So this will vibrate the device and I'm gonna put this first. And this way, as soon as I, as soon as it registers that NFC tag, it's gonna give my phone a little vibrate. That way I know that I successfully hit the NFC tag and my automation should then run. So I like doing this again for all of the NFC tags that I configure. All right, so it's gonna vibrate the device and run our shortcut. Choose done, that's it. All right, so now we can test it and I'll go test it in front of the garage door so you can see we can also do it here because I have HomeKit, so I'm gonna scan it. And you can see right now my garage door is closed. So let's see what happens. Look how quick that was. It's opening the garage door immediately. So pretty awesome. It works like a charm. I felt, showed me the garage door is open. Gotta love HomeKit. And so I did get that little vibrate, which is nice. So, you know, if I don't have the Home app open or something and I wanna scan it, I can hear my garage door actually closing now. Uh, but I get that vibrate on here to let me know that I did in fact tap it okay. And you can see our garage door is now closed. see using an NFC tag is a great way to just you know have an easy way to toggle on and off an accessory or something like that in your house and keep in mind this can also be used for other things like home kit buttons which is also something that I really like to do instead of using like a single press to turn on the light and a double press to turn off the light you can use this toggle method for you know say a single press to turn on or off the light depending on its current state now if you're looking for some new solid home kit products for your smart home maybe to use with some of these cool new automations like we're discussing here today, definitely check out the sponsor of today's video, Eve. They make some great products built exclusively for HomeKit. And Eve is actually one of the leading brands right now on Thread, which is the standard that not only makes your smart home more responsive and robust, but is also one of the pillars of the smart home of the future, Matter. Maybe you've heard of it. I have many Eve products personally in my home kit setup, including their weather station on my front porch. I've got an indoor camera in the living room, uh, smart plugs, door sensors. Basically, I have Eve products throughout my house. I really love their stance on privacy and all the great things that they're doing around Thread and the future of the smart home. So check out the link in the description for more. And big thanks to Eve for sponsoring today's video and supporting this channel. I hope this video helped in setting up some easy toggle automations for your smart home. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you plan to use in any way or maybe some other cool ways that you're using NFC tags in your smart home. Subscribe for new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. Also, do you guys see we got some merch available just like this shirt right here for the first time. So you can check out this and some other designs that we have. We got a couple of designs right now. Links again will be down below for that. Also, if you wanna join our private community over on Discord, consider becoming a channel member to get access to that and other perks like behind the scenes and early access to new videos. Thank you so much for watching today and letting me be a part of 
of your smart home journey. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.